What's up everybody? I'm gonna start playing through some of the Level Up 2013 finalists because they're usually pretty cool. So expect this one and some more videos to come. But we're gonna start off with Assault Android Cactus. And I like this one, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty good little twin stick shooter. And you have these cute little dude robot things to choose from and yeah it it's, looks pretty good it feels pretty good it's a basic twin stick shooter but there's like you can see down the bottom there there's primary and secondary weapons and each of them have different ones and yeah I've played around with these two cactus and holly but I think I'll try something different so uh, well I guess holly was a lot easier than cactus just because of the primary weapon like she has a just a straight shooting machine gun kind of thing whereas hers as it says is a seeker and so you can basically fire anywhere and your bullets just home sh straight to whoever your no nearest enemy is which makes it a lot easier but hey it's fun as well and there's a lot of enemies on screen and you get power-ups and all that sort of thing and yeah it's pretty much an altogether good game this one I quite like it so yeah let's try I actually unlocked this one last time so let's try starch just to see how it goes and yeah I've played through it already but have been terrible at it so anyway let's give it a go so basic premise is you move around left stick move right stick aim use your right and left triggers to do stuff your right trigger shoots, like I'm doing right now, and your left stick will, your left trigger, sorry, will swap you out to your secondary weapon. Accelerate. And you get power ups like this, so I'm going a bit faster because I got the accelerate power up. Let's try the secondary, so we hit that. Wow, that's cool. So that's like homing missiles. And you can only use your secondaries for a short period of time. So you can see there it, swi it switched back to my laser, but um, I didn't do that. The game just switched back after I'd used the secondary for long enough. Oh, let's swap over again. Nice. And so the game throws a lot of enemies at you, which is nice. But it, all of the levels are all pretty much arenas, at least the ones in the demo are, but they're interesting arenas, like there's some which change uh, the orientation a lot, there's some which change the lighting, so I think the next one it changes the lighting, so you end up, it's everything's really dark and you've just got a torch in front of you, and that makes it a lot of fun. But the, the power-ups really do come into play a lot. Like that one shuts them all down so that they can't do anything for a period of time. So if you've got lots of enemies on the screen, it really helps. Alright, B rating, and that's pretty good for me, so no complaints here. Let's go straight to the next one. Yeah, so this level is a little bit more interesting. You'll see that there's a lot of enemies in it, and there's... Um, a lot of times like this where the lights go out and that just makes it so much more interesting because I can't see what's behind me at the moment although I can see where the enemies are I don't know what the layout of the level is unless I've just been some kind of super dude and remembered it all let's get rid of those big guys the big dudes can be very annoying but yeah, I mean, I guess the downsides to this game is that it's all, at least in the demo, it's all robots that can be a little bit repetitive, as in they're all very much the same cookie-cutter kind of enemies. But there is a decent amount of variety, having said that. So there's a few, there's a number of different robots, and they act differently, and there's some bigger ones and smaller ones, and there's a boss fight at the end and all that stuff, so it's quite, um... I find it interesting enough, but I do like twin sticks. So, you know, this is my kind of game. Even 
if I'm not brilliant at them. So this laser makes you play a bit differently because you have to be constantly uh, aiming at something rather than just shooting and knowing that it will hit somewhere in that direction. coming in. Let's get some missiles. Nice. And I do like a game that throws this much at you and there's this much going on in the screen. I mean that's cool regardless. There's just so much happening. Nice, another B. And yes, I'm seriously thrilled about that. <laughs> so this this level's interesting because it, it does change as you go. Oh crap. That was a dumb thing to do. Bad start. So as you go through the level, all these blocks and everything move, so it makes it a little bit more interesting. And that's where the demo is cool because it shows you those sorts of things, but I'd love to see the full game and see what, if there's anything else or if it's just what you see here kind of thing. Firepower. See, whoop, there we go. <laughs> okay, now these little guys will shoot homing missiles at you, so it's good to get rid of them nice and quick. Get out of here. Oops, I'm dead. So it does get a little bit bullet helly from time to time, which is not a bad thing. Makes it a little bit more challenging. Just got it on the default difficulty right now, so I don't know if there's much else. Oh, swarm. But you can see it gets a bit frantic as you go along, and yeah, it's very cool. But that's pretty much it. That's Soul Android Cactus. Uh, yeah, really a good twin stick shooter. It's a lot of fun, actually, and I'd, I'd definitely recommend checking out the demo, if not the full game. You can get the full game on Steam. Check the description for the link. Uh, yeah, if you like this and you want to see the rest of the Level Up 2013 finalists that are out on Steam, uh, follow me, subscribe, like, comment, do stuff, rock and roll. Cool, I'm done. Bye.